So speaking of route tables, we have the same picture here, two VNets and three on-prem endpoints. Every hub has a default route table. The default route table is basically a route table with a bunch of routes and next hop. And I'm gonna walk you through what that is. But let's understand the concept of a default route table. Let's say we have five hubs. Each one of those hubs is going to have a default route table. There is also this new concept of a label. A label is a logical group of route tables. So simply when you propagate to a label, it propagates to all the route tables. So for default route table, there is a label which is built in to the system called the default. So when you propagate routes to default label, it propagates to all the default route tables across all hubs. And that just gives you multiple scenarios and ease of use. So here's the default route table. As you can see, the 192, 168 address prefixes from the on-premise endpoints are all in here. The next hop is the connection ID. The connection IDs are the site to site, the express route and the point to site. We also have the routes for the VNets, the 10.1 and the 10.2 address prefixes. And the connection IDs listed here are for VNet1 and VNet2. This is the crux of any to any connectivity where the default route table has the routes and the next hops. And this enables any to any or any spokes communicating with any spoke. Now, there's an important concept that we should understand. When I say branches, it means not just the site-to-site -site VPN site, but it also means express route, it also means user VPN or point-to-site. So VPN, express route, and point-to-site, they're all known as branches in virtual WAN, and they all associate to the default route table. 